Hey, welcome to the channel. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. I'm going to go over my gun collection and the modifications and a little bit about them. Hope y'all stay tuned. So the first gun I'll be showing y'all today is actually the first gun I ever bought when I was 18 years old. Uh, I'm 22 now, so uh, at the time I was really anxious to just go out and buy my first gun as a legal adult. So uh, yeah, it's actually a shotgun, the SX-3. It's made by Winchester. Uh, don't worry, it's unloaded. No ammo in it. But yeah, uh, I mainly use this gun for dove hunting. Sometimes waterfowl, but mainly doves. Uh, it's a really good gun, really reliable gas chamber. Forgot the price range. I want to say it was a little over a thousand dollars, but for the price range, it is a really good gun and it stands out compared to some of the other guns out there on the market. But yeah, I'll, I'll do a little uh, walk around, let y'all take a look at it. Coming in next, I have my deer rifle that I've had for about two years. Um, never had any problems with it so far. Uh, all in all, it's a really good rifle. Uh, highly recommend it. It is the Ruger Predator chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, it's empty, safe to go. Uh, the optic I have for it is a Leopold 3x9x40, really good uh, optic. Uh, I believe the gun itself is right around the $500 price range, uh, not adding the optic, but uh, I have the retractable Caldwell bipod on it. Um, love-hate relationship with it kind of gets in the way sometimes but uh it's treated me good uh, up at the top is your threaded barrel if you have a silencer or anything like that uh, i personally don't have a silencer uh, would be cool to have one but i just don't have a use for it one of my good buddies actually made this sling. It's made out of paracord. It's really cool. And I uh, don't know if y'all could see that, but it has the OD green kind of to match the, the stock of the gun. But uh, yeah, I'll show y'all a little up close. Alright guys, coming in at number three, I have my next rifle here, which is probably the most common in the US, and a bunch of y'all have probably already guessed what it is just from saying that, so I'll jump into it. It is my AR-15, chambered in 5.56 from Smith & Wesson, really great gun, haven't got to shoot it as much as I like, but from the times that I have, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the stock is a Magpul, retractable, uh, nothing too flashy, I just wanted something a little different. The next thing is the Ergo Grip, uh, if y'all can see there, it has the finger etchings, so just uh, a little more grip as you're firing through rounds down the range. Uh, it's kind of like a rubbery material. And it does have a little storage pocket down here. Uh, pretty cool grip, in my opinion. Haven't had any problems with it. Really sturdy. Uh, next thing is the bad lever. Might be a little too far away, but the bad lever comes in handy 
99% of the time. Uh, if y'all don't already have it, I highly suggest y'all pick it up. Uh, it's just a uh, really, really good thing to have on an AR. <clears throat> uh, last thing is the optic is a Leopold VXR 3x9x40. Uh, and for the ones that don't know that, it does have the the red dot reticle in the middle. Uh, you can adjust the settings on how bright or dull you want with this little button right here. You just press it, I think uh, it's a number of five. You can press it and uh, yeah, it just lights up and it's actually pretty cool. It's actually uh, pretty cheap and uh, in my opinion it's really cool to have uh, thrown on with this setup but uh, overall really great gun really good price uh, would have got it sooner but just money wasn't right or wasn't the right time but I'll show you all a close up Alright guys, so coming in number four, I do have another AR to show y'all. Uh, it is my 458 SOCOM from Radical Firearms. Uh, haven't got to shoot this yet, but the temptation is killing me. Uh, mainly because none of the arms dealers sell this kind of ammunition, and I've just been way too lazy to look it up online. Um, but hopefully in the near future I can have a video of uh, firing the first rounds down the range and uh, actually if y'all would like to see a video of me firing for the first time just comment down below but we'll go into it kind of stock not too flashy I, uh, I do have another bad lever on here just cuz it's the way to go it's a lifesaver uh, the stock is a Magpul PRS I think it just fits the gun perfectly. <clears throat> kind of stocky, beefy gun, so why not throw a nice stock on there? Uh, I will show you all the etchings, but uh, first I want to tell you all a little funny story about this gun. Uh, two months before I got this gun, I bought the AR-15 that I showed you all. And uh, believe it or not, I actually paid $25 for this gun. I put my hand on the Bible, I swear. Uh, actually, this was a raffle gun that they had on Facebook. And I think they had, I can't remember how many spots they had, but each spot was $25. And uh, so I just went ahead and threw my name in there, paid the $25. Didn't really think much of it. And uh, I just kept on having my phone start blowing up at work and uh, so I went went on a break and I checked it and everyone was saying hey man you won this gun you won the gun and I mean I, I never won anything before so uh, it's just kind of kind of cool to see uh, see this happen and to actually get the gun from the owner and he was a really nice guy uh, but all in all like I'm super surprised and super stoked that I was able to pick this up but uh, yeah, hopefully sometime in the near future, I am able to let this baby rip because uh, I'm anxious. <laughs> I'll show you all a close up. so I have two more guns to show y'all this right here will be the last rifle but uh, before I get into showing y'all it I just want to tell y'all that this is by far not the most expensive gun that I have or the prettiest gun that I have but it's the most special gun that I have to me uh, 
just from the past that I have with it and who it was handed down from. So uh, with that being said, it is my 243 Remington 700. Uh, it's a very, very reliable gun. It is cleared just like I showed y'all. Woodstock, Redfield, 3x9x40. Uh, does have an iron sight on it. Uh, this gun right here is probably the closest gun that I have to my heart. I don't use it as much, but uh, I still take it to the range every once in a while to kind of keep it up to date. Uh, this gun right here was handed down to me from my grandfather when I was seven years old, and he recently passed away from cancer about two years ago. So, uh, yeah, this gun is very, very special to me, and it's a memory that I can hold to him for ever. Uh, so many memories with this gun, so many animals that I've taken with this gun, and it's just a special bond that I have held with this this gun right here. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you all a little up close, and uh, let y'all take a look at it. Alright, so last but not least, we have my Glock 19 9mm. This is my recent purchase. Absolutely love it. Uh, kind of only use it at the, the ranch uh, just for protection against predators. Other than that, it's uh, home protection uh, just in case anything goes down, but uh, hopefully that never happens. Really, really great gun. Really good uh, concealed weapon. Uh, doesn't really get in the way much. You can't really tell it's there. But uh, yeah, I'll show y'all up close. All right guys, if you enjoyed the video, Please give it a thumbs up. It really does help. Is that right? <laughs> but yeah, if y'all like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if y'all like to see the 458 when it first goes to the range, just let me know. Uh, I'll be more than happy to drop that video. So, uh, other than that, y'all take it easy.